to the Royal Forest to interview Roy about how the animals and humans are sharing the habitat. Uh, if they had the park police come in here once in a while, gaining information on what's going on and why these trees are being cut down and why people decide they can cut more trails and beer bottles, beer cans and then drugs are all over the place. And how can the animals walk here when you got broken glass? How can our children walk on here when there's broken glass and, and garbage that could be dangerous to them? Well, they could start educating people right in here or telling them, please don't cut the trees down. Um, but education seems the best. And a, a little bit of visible authority sometimes encourages people to go the right way instead of the wrong way. At this point in the interview, he got emotional. Because I love the animals. I love Mother Nature. And it hurts me to see them being murdered, being starved. Nobody cares especially the government. It's very upsetting. <laughs> the Royal Wood Forest, we saw graffiti on the signs, graffiti on posts, signs, just signs of human impact. Some signs of human impact were birdhouses with graffiti, graffiti signs, trails, paths, <clears throat> litter in the water, the bridges, even the roads, and just all signs of human impact. White-tailed deer are colorblind. White-tailed deer can run as fast as a horse. White-tailed deer are good swimmers. There is many animals in the forest. There's beavers, there's skunks, raccoons, deer, pileated woodpeckers. Um, oh, I just, chickadees, nuthatches. Um, there's too many to mention. There's just dozens, if not hundreds of different species of animals in the forest. We would like to thank Roy for allowing us to interview him.